Morning, my name is Ross. Welcome to the video. So today I'm riding to meet none other than the new chairman of the cycle club I'm in, Cheshire Mavericks. Hola amigos! So here's the illustrious guest. Say hello, Way. Oh yeah. This is the new chairman of the board. Uh, Way's got the route planned. Looks all he's one of those riders that just looks pro. <laughs> I mean he can cash that check I card. I've got shorts on and got a mixture of kit again, but this guy looks nails. Pretty strong cyclist too. So anyway, I'm gonna go bring you back in a bit. So what is usually a proper quiet lane on the back end of Bullington turns to a motorway. It's like YouTube don't want me to get trying to marginalise Way's appearance <laughs> so I don't get a guest appearance from the chairman of the board. Right, so Way ran for chairman of the board of Cheshire Mavs. Was it in the summer? Uh, yeah, yeah. And narrowly missed out. I think I've told you, but if I haven't, I, ab I ab abstained from voting Way because <laughs> uh, I forgot. Okay. But you probably would have got my vote anyway. Probably. Yeah. Okay. I think you still owe me a coffee from the hill climb competition. Oh really? Because I paid an extra fiver. Oh okay. Yeah, I've remembered that. Oh, well, anyway, well, so he's gone for it again because the chairman stepped down. Uh, what was he called? Alan? Alec and Alec. Aaron. Yeah, joint chairmanship. And then Way Way got it again, got voted in. So there's a dissent, so I'll say congratulations, mate. Thank you. They're on the brickworks. And as Wade's just emptied my time getting here, I asked, I pleaded for him to stop so we can get a coffee at the illustrious, world famous kickback coffee. This is where all the cool kids go, which is why I never get an invite. But uh, yeah. This kind man said he's going to charge half price because we've come early and they're dead at this time. Oh. And, and I've just given them a massive shout on my, my YouTube channel. What's your name? Josh. Josh. Josh will look after you. <laughs> just uh, quote my channel and he'll charge you double. <laughs> So I asked Josh to whip his man bun out and film an intro of him pouring coffee because all the good channels have that. Uh, next time Josh, yeah? Yeah, next time. Next time. Go on, that's one. Awesome. Right, so I just wanted to ask Way because this was something that I experienced as a junior in a club that it's quite difficult when you go in there and there's just loads of adults. And I ended up just riding with one of a mate because as a 15 year old in a group of 4 year old men it was a bit weird. So. I've noticed in the club that I'm in that you're the chairman of that there are quite a lot of younger people new in person. So what was the story behind that way? And I appreciate you doing it as well. Just about when I first joined the club, there was a large contingent of yeah. like um, 13 to 17, 18 year olds. And it was a good way just we just rode with them every week and it was a good way to just watch them, you know, grow, learn and get better and stuff. And it's just something I've always tried to do for the club uh, and encourage the members to join us and, uh, and yeah, I love, I love watching them grow and get better and train and gain confidence. That social aspect as well. Uh, Says that about me as well. Yeah. So um, yeah, it's, it's been really good and, and watching the race as well. Yeah. So, and part of the club now, um, we a lot of the ride leaders were DPS checked yeah. as well as we've got a club. We have to have a club welfare officer now. So we've got two. So who are the club welfare officers? Got Jackie and uh, Jay, so right. both uh, yeah. official yeah. club welfare officers for Free BC. So we're all regulated. Yeah. Uh, we try to look hard for youngsters. I just love watching them and, and watching them progress and stuff. So, yeah. yeah, I noticed at the weekend, what was the young lad who was? Ollie. Ollie. Yeah. So he was, he just looked nailed. So, <laughs> obviously I've ridden with Ollie now for like, like five years, so yeah. he, and he's not grown that much. <laughs> <laughs> but he's, he's always uh, one of the, the slight ones, but yeah, sometimes, you know, Thursday night, we go out when we do the usual yeah. um, loop. On the way back, we'll be drilling it in a certain section. And there was a couple of times where you know he'd follow my wheel and, I'd, and then I'd switch and then shoot. I'm behind him, I'm just yeah. shouting them and keep telling them to keep going, going. And if it wasn't for me shouting at him behind, I don't think he could push that extra little bit. Yeah. So, and it's it's just good to encourage him, really. So. Yeah. He shouted at me to go up, up the hill, and then he said, "Don't go full gas." <laughs> no, no, like he, he looked really strong. Yeah. And I, I, wrote, I chatted to him a little bit, and he said it is just for fun. Yeah. But he loved it. And then who who was the 
the girl who was out in the Lola. summer. Yeah, with Lola. So Lola. she a track cyclist as well? Yes, yeah, yeah. So Lola uh, currently doing exams, so she's not been out last yeah. couple of weeks. But yeah, she'll, she'll do some winter training rides and stuff. Yeah. So yeah, so Ollie obviously is at university and stuff. So yeah. he comes back and does one the holidays. So, yeah. yeah. No, I think it's, it's great to see. And, and she just, she stayed with the A group. I remember we were there yeah, at the end with Andre and they both dropped me towards the end. When everyone just goes for that, like, sprint to where we finish, I'm like, really? Like, the ride's over in 200 meters. Is, yeah. but I'm not too ashamed to say they dropped me. Yeah. But no, listen, wait, um, chew your ear off, let us drink these coffees before they go cold. Uh, great to see what you're doing for the club and make it, making it an inclusive club to get everyone involved. Uh, and I'm proud to be part of it, respect. Not setting any records up there today. I'm sure we will send one down on the wind if we make it out safe. But this is where you gave you live here. Wind and beautiful views. Right here towards Kerry. Not doing Blaze Hill, so it should be a good meandering descent. Hopefully, clearer traffic. Whoa! Wrong gear. Clive, you were gone. <laughs> Dropped. Windy. Then I got moved emotionally and physically. Right, take two. You can just see White Nancy there, the beacon of Bollington. So I'm trying not to get dropped this time, but when I said this guy looks pro, he right he descends like a pro. So it just levels, it's not my speciality. I can't live with that shit. Ooh. Very windy today though. Very windy. See, he's a gentleman, he's making excuses for me. So that hill there on the right, sports fans, Blaze Hill. Whoa. I had the KOM down there a few years ago. You did? Yeah. You know. Uh, going down. You know, that's why I called you a nutter. About, about three or four years. Wow, who took it? Uh, I don't know. Just some pro. You know. Well, <laughs> when I took it, I was doing like 50 miles an hour. Holy crap. Yeah.
So windy. Well, you didn't attack it that much, so I managed to cling on. Yeah, because it was so windy. <laughs> Send you down into from carriage. Uh, it's back in the Bollington now. He's off already. No more gears. work happening at the flat and he'll be back to his manor. Oh. Alright so I'm broken after I'm not used to doing 600 watts on a descent. Cheers that way. Oh, thank you. You just take it easy weren't you? <laughs> well. Anyway we're back in Bollington, my home for the next four days. I'm gonna go home and cry after that. Way. Yeah. Thanks for making your debut. Thank you. Not for the last time I hope. Nope. Alright, hasta luego amigos.